Todd is back. Todd, I've been noticing your sunsets are starting to set mm. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's a painful sad. reality. Literally, this time like of year, before isn't six, it? it's like five fifty, and oh, yeah, I know. yeah, sad. yeah it, was, it was last week, I think. Our 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 soccer schedule adjusted for the second time and last time. <laughs> yeah. You know, they have to go earlier because the sun goes down too early right. now. You can't get in those later practices. And the other thing is, I mean, our sun rises are later also. Yes. You know, it's still kind of dark out there even yep. right now. Yep. We'll get a time change in a, in a few weeks. That mm -hmm. first weekend in November, we uh, we flip the clock, so that'll that'll change everything oh, up again on us. And that's a big controversy. <laughs> oh, it itself. is. <laughs> I don't want to touch that one right now. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you Tuesday morning. No rain out there, so that's kind of nice. Yesterday had those uh, those rogue showers, and they were cold ones. They kind of cut right through you. It was raw. Now we have some chilly temperatures, frost and freeze advisories that stretch all the way down to the coastline. There is a lot of low level moisture, so frost on grass blades and on car windshields. Obviously, if you don't park in a garage, you park outside and quite a bit of fog too. Bangor, Waterville, Augusta. So that stretch of 95 and then through the main turnpike down through Lewiston, Auburn in the river area. You know, it is it is pretty foggy, so that's probably going to slow you down. Also, give yourself a few extra minutes if you have to scrape and you have to encounter the reduced visibility. Temperature in Bangor is 29. In Lewiston, Auburn, it's 32. Same in Augusta and Waterville, cold up north and in the mountains. Along the coast, we have some frost. This morning, it's 28 in Bar Harbor. It's 31 in Wiscasset. Upper 30s, Portland, Sanford, Portsmouth. That doesn't mean there isn't any frost in these spots. Just at the airport where the thermometer is at this moment, it's above. High pressure with the chill with us today. This warm front passes this evening and will actually be fairly mild most of this week with highs in the mid 60s. No rain all the way back through the Mississippi Valley, but just off the map, there is another front back there, and that one will be a potent one with rain and some wind, which I'll cover in a second for you. That's coming up later this week. Low clouds and fog will gradually mix out. We will end up with a ton of sunshine. Just be patient. A lot of sun for the afternoon and temperatures recover pretty nicely. No issues at all this afternoon or for your commute home. So your commute to work may be a little delayed coming home. You should It'll be a breeze. Get home real quickly. High temperatures. Mother Nature not discriminating today. It doesn't matter where you are. It'll be in the upper 50s to around 60. So I kind of like that when we're all in it together. Tomorrow, mid 60s work in even warmer. And then here comes a strong cold front. Quite a bit of rain along it. This band of some heavy downpours, maybe a couple of rumbles in there and some gusty winds out of the southeast too. And because it's going to be stalling as it moves through, the rain may not shut off until late Friday night or very early Saturday morning. And then this nice stuff will punch in for most of our weekend. So the timing is pretty good right now as far as the front goes. And some of our models are picking up some healthy amounts. We'll likely have an inch, if not two inches of rain. So some ponding on roads and some drainage issues, especially now that the leaves are coming off the trees, clogging up some of those drains too. Winds, while taking a back seat to the rain, will likely be gusty. We're going to at least gust in the 30s Thursday afternoon, Thursday night and Friday and probably a few gusts over 40 miles per hour. And with the ground being saturated, some of those roots are compromised a little bit. There is a chance we end up with a few power outages. The winds will shut down after the front passes for the weekend. Marine forecast sees one to three light variable wind water temp 56. A lot of sunshine developing for your day. High temperature 60. Beautiful tomorrow in the mid 60s. Clouds increase on Thursday starts to get breezy. Thursday night, all of Friday, periods of rain, and it'll be windswept rain too, coming in sideways at you. We'll clear out on Saturday. Sunday looks beautiful. Highs also in the mid 60s with a mix of sunshine and clouds. All right. Okay. There you thank go. You, End of Tom. the week is kind of the focus. Yeah, right just Target to area. get through that. Sure. All yeah. right. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.